This brat skin is kind of like a drug, and Crazy Carl and his crew are pretty much hooked on doing it. Now, of course, that's a good drug because it's a healthy drug as long as you don't go and take too much and screw up. <laughs> Stopping.
It, the first time I thought I had it and uh, I spun and hit the wall, I either ran out of talent or power, so I'm gonna go with power. Super stoked on it. Carl tried to do it. Just not a top dog yet. He's learning though. He's learning. Walk me through once more. It's down here, creep right, or creep left around that tree. Boom, 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 triple stage. Sick, you got it, dogger. Yes, sir. On that first one. <laughs> sure did, dude. <laughs> doing where the hell is the throttle <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm Ryan Howe, uh, or Howdy. I'm the Director of Operations here at Stellar Alaska. Yeah, my name is Dave Kickert, and I've been working in the avalanche industry for 20 years. So I've been here with Carl for about a week. We've been in the Pro 2 Avalanche class, which really goes through a lot of the fundamentals of avalanche leadership and forecasting. It's been a great course. We've spent a lot of time in the field. We talk a lot about mountain sense in this profession, and it's a really important and tangible skill. So the thing with avalanches is the consequences can be so severe. And it's been good to be out with Carl because he might have the reputation or nickname as Crazy Carl, but in the class we've been calling him Calculated Carl. And I don't see Carl as someone who just shows up and goes skiing without doing his homework. He really puts in the time and the effort and it's been good to see his approach of not just wanting to get out and ski the biggest lines all the time, but really learn and understand how things work and take a more patient approach to the mountains. By mid-March, we were feeling confident in the snowpack, and I got the opportunity to switch back into athlete mode to send some dream lines.
ready?